So here we are uh, with the sixth question on Millman's theorem. So this circuit figure is slightly different from the circuit diagrams which we have solved previously. They were basically voltage sources along with uh, resistances connected in series and that voltage resistor combination were connected in parallel. But here we have current sources along with resistors that combination and we have uh, multiple uh, such arrangements connected in parallel current source and resistor. So parallel current sources this is uh, that kind of a circuit. So here we have to find uh, the load current IL. So we can use Millman's theorem to simplify this circuit. So here the Millman equivalent will be basically the Norton equivalent circuit. Previously when the voltage sources were there, we were using the Thevenin equivalent circuit. Voltage source along with the equivalent resistance in series. But here we will be determining the Norton equivalent circuit and that will be something like this. This. this is the Norton's current, this is the equivalent resistance, this is the 1 ohm resistor, load resistor. So here I n will be simply 5 ampere this direction, this is the current direction plus 3 ampere because it is in the same direction that is why they will be added. So it will be 8 ampere with this being the current direction. So Norton current is equal to 8 ampere and Norton resistance is simply 2 ohm parallel 2 ohm. So that will be simply equal to 1 ohm. So here Rn is equal to 1 ohm. So the applying current division rule as both the resistors are equal connected in parallel com combination the current will be divided equally. So this current IL will be 4 ampere and this current flowing through this resistor will also be 4 ampere. Okay. So here the load current is equal to 4 ampere this is the Norton equivalent circuit based on Millman's theorem and this is the Norton current. So basically we converted it into the Norton equivalent circuit using Millman's theorem and uh, then we found out the current flowing through the load resistor using current division rule. Okay. So this is the seventh question on Millman's theorem which we will discuss. So here we have this uh, parallel current source along with resistors that arrangement and we have to determine the Millman equivalent circuit across these two terminals. So what basically we have to do is to find the Norton equivalent circuit isn't it? For voltage sources parallel voltage sources we used to determine the Thevenin equivalent circuit for current source arrangement we have to determine Norton equivalent circuit. So here if you notice I have not uh, assigned the current direction because we have current sources of different directions. Okay? So let us see what is the current direction after calculating. So here I n will be the sum of the individual current source values. Here the sign convention will be taken according to uh, what you want. Suppose you assign this as positive and this as negative. 
so it's your wish you can do the opposite also i am going as per this convention so here 0.3 ampere is flowing downwards so i will take it as minus minus 0.3 0 0.6 ampere this one is flowing upwards so i will take it plus 0 0.6 then 0 0.8 is flowing downwards so again 0 0.8 net current is minus 0 0.5 ampere or 0 0.5 ampere flowing downwards so here it would be flowing downwards current value is equal to 0 0.5 ampere that next is the equivalent resistance same rn the parallel uh, combination so it is 400 parallel with 200 parallel with 400 so it is 1 by 1 by 400 plus 1 by 200 plus 1 by 400 is equal to so it's 400 1 plus 2 plus 1 that equal to 1 by 4 by 400 which is equal to 100 ohm so the equivalent resistance is Rn is equal to 100 ohm and here the current is this this so this is the equivalent circuit as per Milman's theorem the Norton equivalent circuit as per Milman's theorem okay so this is the eighth question on Milman's theorem so here we have to determine the current flowing through this 1 kilo ohm resistor so here we will be using Milman's theorem to determine the Norton equivalent circuit okay so we have to determine the Norton equivalent circuit one kilo ohm this is Rn this is In so if you notice we have not assigned the current direction so the Norton current will be simply the sum of the individual currents taking into account their direction the current direction so here I have taken the upward direction as positive and the downward direction as negative so you can take the opposite also but this is the conventional way okay so here 2 milliampere current is upward so it is positive 3 milliampere also is upward so it is positive again this 2 milliampere current source is downward so it will be negative so in is 3 milliampere okay 3 milliampere plus 3 milliampere or we can say it is 3 milliampere in upward direction okay now Rn is simply 18 kilo ohm parallel 9 kilo ohm parallel 3 kilo ohm which is equal to 1 by 1 by 18 plus 1 by 9 plus 1 by 3 which is equal to 1 by this is 18 1 plus 2 plus 6 which is equal to 1 by 9 by 18 which is equal to 2 kilo ohm Rn is equal to 2 kilo ohm In is equal to 3 milliampere so now we have to determine uh, the IL this current through current division rule so it will be IL is equal to 3 milliampere into 1 kilo ohm the other resistor okay sorry uh, it is 2 kilo ohm sorry sorry it is 2 kilo ohm 2 kilo ohm divided by 1 plus 2 kilo ohm 
this 3 into 2 by 3 which is equal to 2 milliampere. Okay? So, load current is equal to 2 milliampere. Okay? So, here uh, the basic concept is to apply Millman's theorem. Suppose we do not know Millman's theorem, we have not studied it, we have no idea about it. Then the usual approach in this case would have been to apply nodal analysis at each of these nodes would have to apply nodal analysis and that would have uh, you know led to a lot of nodal equations and when number of equations increase the number of variables increase then there are high chance that there will be some error in any one of the equations or multiple errors and that will give us the wrong result. So if we know Millman's theorem we can have a simplified representation of the circuit in terms of the Norton equivalent circuit and then we can easily determine this load current using current division rule. So this is the eighth question on Millman's theorem which we have discussed.